Lord. Praise the Lord. Victory today. <laughs> not tomorrow, not next week, but today is yours and mine. We, we can claim that simply because Jesus has given us the victory. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God some praise and thank God for victory this morning. Of course, you see, this morning our musician is not present with us. Choir singing a cappella. You can join in with them. And, 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 and worship is not predicated on, on music. But we thank God for our percussionist, our drummer, our Brother CJ, this morning. Let's give him a hand. Yeah. And so we come this morning to worship our God in spirit and in, in truth. And we come this morning proclaiming the victory simply because Jesus Christ has given us the victory. And we claim it this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Let us stand this morning. Praise God from whom all blessings are flowing. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all preachers here below. Praise Him. Jesus is calling you to follow him. Have faith, place your trust in Jesus. Take the risk, place your lives in his hands. He can handle all your problems. Through bright days and dark nights, everywhere, all the time. He will not abandon you. Follow Jesus. You won't regret it. All together. Jesus, help our unbelief where we are weak. Give us strength where we are falter and hold back. Gently bring us forward where we fail. Please forgive us. And we sing praises unto thy holy name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. At this time, we will have a selection from our choir. <clears throat> every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our
every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise. Anybody got a praise on their hearts this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Pray. Every praise is to our God. At this time, we will have prayer. Sister Salvage, Loretha, will come and, and, and offer prayer. Sister Salvage. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord, and thy feet will stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Father, we come before you this morning thanking you for life, health, and strength. We come in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. For thou art the King of kings, and you are the Lord of lords. And Lord God, we give you glory this morning. We thank you that you woke us up early this morning. And you allow us to see this day. We thank you that you love us so much that you bring us back to the house of God, to the house of Bethel, the house of prayer. And Lord God, we just give you glory. We thank you that you are Jehovah Elohim, who is the maker and the creator of all things. We thank you that you are Jehovah Signagu, who is the God of righteousness. We thank you that you are Jehovah Nisi, the Lord God, who is our banner, the one that allows us to have victory in every circumstance of our life. We thank you that you are our healer. We thank you that you are our deliverer. And Lord God, we just look to you for strength. We look to you for joy. We look to you for your love. We look to you for meekness. We look to you because of your loving kindness that you show us each and every day. And Father, we thank you for each and every good and perfect gift that you give us daily. We thank you for the angels that are standing round about us and to keep us in all of our ways. Father, we will rebuke the devour of the enemy that tries to come in and to destroy us and try to destroy the plan that which you have for our lives and lord god you said in jeremiah 29 11 i know the plans that i have for you plans of peace and not evil plans of hope and an expected end so lord god we look into the hills from which all of our help coming from because all of our help coming from you O oh lord who made the heavens and who made the earth father we can do all things through christ jesus father bless the sick bless the shut-in bless those that are behind prison bars this morning bless those that are down south those that have lost things father god we know that you are the god of restore father for you will restore them even better than what they had god and lord god we trust that you will do it father Bless the man and the woman of this household, O oh God, that they will continuously to do what work that you have called them to do. Pour fresh oil upon them this morning, O oh God. Everywhere that their feet shall tread, that you shall be with them, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God. Bless each and every person, every household, every parishioner in this house, O oh God. Whatever needs that they may have, God, we lift them up to you. We give it to you. We put it in your hands, O oh God, because we know that you are the God that can make the crooked places straight you have already went before of you way you've already made the pathway straight so lord god we thank you we thank you for your love we thank you for your grace for your grace it is sufficient and your mercies are new every morning every morning god just like the dew on the ground is new every morning we thank you god for your mercy 
touch those, God, that are in need this morning. For we all have a need this morning. So we lift it up to you this morning, God. Those quiet prayers that we have done behind closed doors, you already know, and we know that you're a God that shall answer. You said, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I shall give thee rest. So we rest upon you this morning, God, and we give you the glory in honor and in praise in jesus name hallelujah is your name hallelujah is your name hallelujah is what is due unto you hallelujah god for you give us praise you give us glory give you the glory god jesus we thank you for dying on the cross for our sins you put partook of the bitter cup of all the sins for you already knew for you t- you spoke into this earthly realm lord and we thank you everything that you touch god it was good everything that you touch in our life it is good and we say thank you lord hallelujah jesus we thank you we give you the glory and we give you all the honor in jesus name we pray amen Sweet love, a prayer, sweet. Thank you, Sister Savage, for interceding for us with that wonderful, powerful prayer. Yeah, yeah, I like what you said in your prayer. We rest in the Lord. We rest in the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so very much. God bless you that you will continue to uh, intercede and to pray such powerful prayers unto our God. Our scripture is found in the book of Kings, 1 Kings, the 17th chapter. 1 Kings, the 17th chapter. And my brothers and my sisters, we commence reading at the first verse of the 17th chapter of the book of Kings. And Elijah the Tisbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Shireth, that is before Jordan, and it shall be, 
that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Shirith, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. My brothers and my sisters, <clears throat> we thank God this morning for allowing us to be able to come to his holy house once again. And we don't only just come this morning, but we come with testimonies. We come with praises. We come with thanksgiving. We come as living witnesses in the land of the living to be able to say this morning that God is good. And not only is he good sometimes, but he's good all the time. And so we thank God for his goodness and lord knows we thank him for his mercy and i like what the word of god says that his mercy endureth to all generations and so we are very grateful and thankful to god this morning uh, for being our god and for sparing our lives and to enable us to be able to come again to worship together in this holy place and so this morning there is a word from the lord we have a preacher in the house and this is the first lady, the Reverend Sandra Riley. And of course, she's going to come to us this morning as the Spirit of God directs her. When we found out, no musician, when she found out that things are not normal, she says it's nothing but the devil. She said, we're going to have church anyhow. And so this morning, it don't take music. And sometimes what the devil does, he tries to throw you off course. But we trusting in God this morning. We're standing on the word of God this morning. And so it is our first lady, the Reverend Sandra Riley, who's going to come to us after the singing of this selection from the choir. I solicit your prayers. Pray for yourself first. Pray for her. Let us pray for each other. That God will send us a word. That God will send us a word. And if you listen to the scriptures this morning, he says, as the word be so, told him to go by the brook and he'll send the ravens. He'll send the ravens to feed him. And you know, if God sent the ravens back then, he'll send the ravens now. And so this morning, we're not asking him to send the ravens, but we're asking him to send us a word from on high through the preach woman. And so again, it is my beloved, it is your beloved First Lady, the Reverend Sandra Riley, who's going to come to us after the singing of this selection from the choir. Hear ye her. God bless you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like church say amen. amen let the church say amen again amen. let the redeem of the lord say hallelujah. hallelujah 
Any hallelujahs in the house that he woke me up this morning. Any thank you, Jesus, in the house that he made a way out of no way. Anything you do, you need to praise God. Everything got breath ought to be praising our God. It's not predicated on the musician. It's not predicated on the choir. It's predicated on your praise. What he's done for you. I got a praise in my heart and a praise on my lips because he woke me up this morning, clothed me in my right mind. And for that, I say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. His mercy is fresh right now. I feel a fresh anointing in here today. I feel some fresh oil in here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our God. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts, thanking you for this day that you have made, and we are rejoicing, and we're glad in it. Nothing good we done, but it was your grace and your mercy that allowed us to come again. God, fill our hearts. Fill our minds with you. Come, Holy Spirit. Heavenly dove, with all your quickening power, can the flames of sacred love in these cold hearts of ours. God, we need you. We want you. We love you. We can't do nothing without you. Thank you right now, God, for moving in this place, touching our lives. Healing bodies, healing spirits, healing us right now, God. God, you sent your word, the word of God, that we might be healed and delivered. And God, I believe somebody going to be delivered in here today. They're going to get a breakthrough today because you sent your word to help us and to heal us. Speak a word, God. Speak, Jesus. Your children waiting to hear your voice. I don't have a word. I'm just a willing vessel. Standing ready to do your will and your way. Thank you right now, God, for this praise. This praise and worship in your name. It's in the name that's above every name. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. The scripture lesson today, part of it has been read and we'll read some more from 1 Kings, the 17th chapter. The book of 1 Kings, Old Testament scripture reading. First Kings. 17th chapter. It's good to spend time in the Word. God show you just who He is when you spend time with Him. If you spend time with your co-workers and your family members, you will know just who they are. So find yourself spending some time with God. And He will reveal Himself to you. Amen? 1 Kings, the 17th chapter, and I'll begin reading at the 8th verse. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise, Elijah, go to Zarephath, which belonged to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So she rose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, indeed, a widow was there, gathering sticks. And he called her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, Please bring me a morsel of bread 
in your hand. 12th verse says, So she said, As the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread, only a handful of flour in a bin, and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son, that we may eat and die. And Elijah said to her, do not fear. Go and do as you have said, but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me. And afterwards, make some for yourself and your son. But thus says the Lord God of Israel, the being of flour shall not be used up, hallelujah, nor shall the jar of ore run dry until the day, good God Almighty, the Lord send rain on the earth. So she went away and did what the prophet said. She did according to the word of Elijah. And she and her household eight for many days the bin of flour was not used up nor did the jar of oil run dry won't he do it according to the word of the lord which he spoke by elijah the word of god for the people of god thanks be to god the message today is the lord will provide there's some witnesses in here today that the Lord will. I said the Lord will. The Lord will provide it. And pastor said he's already provided. Hallelujah, somebody. He'll make a way out of no way. God is the all-sufficient one. God can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever ask or think. The breath, check your breath. The breath we're breathing is his breath. God has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. Plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster. Plans to bring about you a future for hope. The word of God say beloved. He call you beloved. I pray that you prosper. In all things. Not some things. But all things. And be. In good health. So if you are. Circling around with any illnesses. God wants you to be in some good health. Not bad health. So now you need to proclaim, I am walking in some good health. The doctors say this and the doctors say that. But God say, walk in some good health. I'll take God's word. Just as your soul prospers. In the prosperity people in the house. In the children of the most God in the house. God children ought to have the prosperity. We ought to have the money. We ought to have it. And when we have it, it's not it's to share it. It's to give and help somebody. It's not to have for us to be puffed up. Oh, I got this and oh, I got that. Prosperity belongs to us. And we walk around sometimes. We broke, busted, and disgusted. And we got God on our side. Walk in your prosperity. Walk in your healings. Walk with God. And he will walk with you. God will. God will. Make a way somehow. Even if he has to open a Red Sea. Yes, Lord. He opened the Red Sea for us this morning. And made a way out of no way. Hallelujah, somebody. 
hallelujah, is the highest praise. And we have come to praise our God from whom all these blessings are flowing. All these miracles are happening. They come from the Lord. That's why he said, I'll make a way for my children. Out of no way. When Moses got to the Red Sea and the children of Israel was falling behind him, he didn't know what to do. But God said, stand still and see the salvation of God. And all I can say is, won't he do it? He parted a Red Sea so the children of Israel could walk across the Red Sea. They were running for Pharaoh and his army. But God had their back. God had their front. God will. I say God will. He will provide it. And I know there's a lot of witnesses in here today. That he made some ways out of no way for us today. This lesson today is powerful. Powerful. It has transformed me. And when you read the God, word of God, it will change you. It'll change your attitude. It'll change your mindset. I really know who Elijah is now. Because when they were saying in the New Testament, when Jesus came, they thought he was Elijah. Because Elijah was a powerful man. Go back and read 1 Kings and go into the 2 Kings. And you'll see the power, the anointing of an Elijah. There's some Elijahs in this house today. Amen. There's some powerful leaders in here today. They're speaking the word of God. Elijah was a prophet. Elijah means Yahweh is my God. He was already claiming he is my God. And Elijah is not here today. But I'm a living testimony that Elijah can't speak for me. That Yahweh is my God. That he is my provider. That he is the truth and the life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Elijah obeyed God. Elijah, he listened to God. He respected God. He loved God. And he followed God. Any followers of God in here today? I believe you're following God today because you would not be sitting in these blue pews if you weren't following God. Because you probably woke up with a headache, with a backache, didn't have no money. But you are following God. And don't stop following God. Follow God all the way. Because He will. I said He will. He will provide. And you can't beat God's giving, no matter how hard you try. See, it took some sacrifices for you to be here today. It took some Holy Ghost for you to be here today. And you know what? God rewards that. He rewards your faithfulness. He's a reward of those who diligently, diligently seek Him. So you're going to be rewarded. Because you press your way. You press your way. I don't know about you, but I press my way today. Because the devil started me early this morning. No, about 1230 last night he started at me. But I knew who he was. I, I knew exactly who he was. My head started hurting on this side. My back was hurting. I couldn't sleep right. I say, devil, in the name of Jesus, you better get thee behind me. Because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You better recognize him. You better recognize him. You think we're going to have some church up in here today because the musician ain't here. The devil is a lie. We came to worship God in spirit and in truth. If he don't never come back, if he don't never play a song, we're going to praise God. Any praises in the house, any witnesses in the house, we come to give God the glory. This service is about Jesus, Mary's baby. Our Lord and us. This is the service of the true and the living God. Church is about Jesus. 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 And we need him. 
all the hell we've gone through all week and you think we ain't going to have church? Sorry, devil. He's a lie. You got to call it like it is. I saw him. I said, I'm sorry. I ain't going to be sick. I, I, I might not slept well last night, but guess what? This afternoon coming. And Sandra going to get some rest. Amen. I'm, I, I'm coming. Ain't going to stop me. He try to stop your praise. He try to stop your progress. You got to recognize who he is. Because he'll wreak havoc in your life. He'll steal your children, your husband. He'll come at your job, your dog, your cat. He'll come. But you need to know who he is. Spending time in the word. Spending time in the word. He'll protect you. He'll help you. Be like Elijah. You know what? God spoke to Elijah. God's speaking today. He sent me <laughs> to tell you what he said. God speaks in a still, small voice. God speaks his word. He said, I sent my word. That's what we got. The word. And sometimes we don't pick it up from one Sunday to the next. Pick it up. Read it. You're not going to understand it. I done read 1 Kings about 20 times. And I'm going to read it 20 more times. Because he keep revealing more and more. Hallelujah, somebody. The word of God has power. It has power. It has healing power. It has victory power. It has power to help you on your job. It has power to keep your marriage. Any witnesses in the house? I'm a witness. He'll help your children. The power of the word of God that's residing in your life. God has power. He speaks in these small voices. Hallelujah, somebody. And then you have to listen. Listen to God. He's speaking now. You know what he says? I love you. I woke you up this morning to come praise me. To come give me the glory. He said there's no good thing I will withhold from you. That you can make it. That you can make it. That you can make it. That you can do it. He spoke to me. He told me that you're going to be delivered. That you're going to be set free. That you are the head and not the tail. That you can do all things through Christ Jesus. You can't do it by yourself. See, your knowledge is not enough. Your education is not enough. Your money is not enough. Your family name is not enough. It's through Christ Jesus. If you're doing it without him, you're doing it in vain. You need some help. He's a very present help right now. He said, you are more than a conqueror. A conqueror through Christ Jesus. He said, he's your shepherd. And you shall not want. He said, he's your doctor. Anybody need a doctor in the day? Everybody don't have insurance. But he'll be a doctor for you in a sick room. There's some witnesses in the house. No, I didn't have no money. I didn't have no insurance. But God worked my situation out. God healed me. He's a lawyer in the courtroom. There's some witnesses in the house. That all, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And we want to sit back and think we high and pious. Let me tell you what, you can't point fingers at nobody. Because if it wasn't for grace and mercy, we wouldn't be sitting in here today. But that we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping me when I couldn't even keep myself. Need a lawyer? Call on Jesus. Need a doctor? Call on Jesus. He is a provider. Look for the hand of God in every aspect of your life. Hallelujah, somebody. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Whatever 
you need, God has it. There was a drop in the land because of sin. They worship out of God's Baal. They thought God was dead. But hallelujah, God ain't dead. God is. I say God is. He's alive. Can you feel his anointing power right now? God is not dead. We serve a living God. God is alive. He sees and knows everything. God spoke to the prophet Elijah. He had already fed him by the brook of cherubim. See, Elijah was a prophet. And he spoke to Baal. He said, ain't going to be no rain for three and a half years. So if ain't no rain, there's no food. So there was a drought in the land. But God provided for Elijah. He told Elijah to go by the brook. So the brook had some water in it. I'm going to command the ravens. That's why I said God will provide. I'm going to command the ravens to feed you right there. Now all them other people didn't have no brook. They have God on their side. The ravens fed Elijah for about 40 days. But what happened? The brook dried up. Sometimes your brook will dry up. And you have to move forward. So the brook that God had provided for Elijah, it draw up. And then he said, go. I'm sending you to someplace else. You got to leave here. Because if you stay by this brook, you're going to die. And I imagine other people that experienced that drought, they had died. He told Elijah to go to Zarephath in Sidon and live there. I've already told a widow woman in that town to give you food. God had already conditioned this woman to feed Elijah. God had already softened this widow's heart. God is. He still softens in hearts right now. So Elijah went to Zarephath. Elijah followed God. He saw the widow woman gathering firewood. Hallelujah, God. And Elijah said, please. He came to her with a gentle spirit, with hospitality. Please, you know, when you ask somebody, bring me this and bring, would you please do this and do that? Please bring me a drink of water. That's what he told the widow woman. All I can say is Elijah was courageous. Because when you asking a woman to do something for her, her, for him, you better know what you're saying. (laughs) Amen. Because she was preparing to die. Elijah was a courageous man because God was on his side. And when you got God on your side, you can be courageous. You can be bold. You can be powerful. Hallelujah, somebody. And as she was going to get the water, he called out again and said, Please bring me some bread too. Not only did he want water, But he wanted bread as well. He was following God's instruction. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And she said, all I have is a handful of flour and a bowl and a bit of olive oil in a jar. Thank you, Holy Spirit. She said, I came here to gather some firewood to take back home and prepare what I have for my son and me. That this would be my last meal. She was getting ready to die. And then we were starved to death because people had been starving in the land. She had no hope. The drought was in the land. She was preparing her last meal for her and her son. But, hallelujah, but God is on our side. But God will make a way out of no way. Hallelujah, somebody. God touched the widow woman. He sent her angel called Elijah. 
God is still sending angels to our house. God is still sending angels to the hospital. God is still sending angels to the jailhouse. God will make a way out of no way. I know he is a provider. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He touched this with a woman. God sent her some help. He t- Elijah said, I'm a messenger from God. And guess what happened? Help had come to her rescue. Help is here. Help is here right now. Help has come to our rescue. We needed rescuing ourselves. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We need help right now. The Word of God says He's a very present help in the time of trouble. We faced a pandemic and we didn't know which way to go. But guess what happened? The Lord. I say the Lord. The Lord. Strong and mighty. The Lord. Mighty and bell. But the Lord made a way out of no way. Now we can come back to work. We can go to church. We can go to school. Because it was nobody but the hand of God that made a way out of no way. And for that, I say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for rescuing us. He's a rescuer. He's a will in the middle of a will. He gave you a breakthrough. He gave you a healing. Because he is the bright in the morning star. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. He may not come. He may not come. When you pray. He may not answer right then. I prayed for some things. I ain't got it yet. But guess what I'm doing. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Psalms 27, 14 said, wait on the Lord. And while you're waiting, be of good courage. Don't get despondent. Don't get disgusted. Just wait on him. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he said, he will. He will. He will strengthen your heart. And I'm crazy enough to believe whatever God's words say, I'll try it. I'll try it because I believe him. I trust in him. I love God. And guess what? He ain't disappointed me yet. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May not come when I want it, but I know God is right there always on time. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes, you might face some challenges, some hills to climb. But there is a God on our side. Any God on your side? Can I see an ovation of a God on your side? Did you know it was God on your side? Wasn't nothing I did to put my clothes on this morning and to brush my teeth. It was the hand of God that helped me out this morning, that helped me drive my car here today. It was the hands. Hands, hands of God. So don't be discouraged because God is on our side. His grace and mercy is still available today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the storms of life is raging, when your money look funny, when the going get rough and the hills seem hard to climb, when your family members get on your last nerve, When you feel like I can't go no further, just hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. And you wonder why you're holding on. I'm holding on because my faith is in God. My faith is not in man. Thank you. Don't worry. Elijah said to her, go and prepare your meal. But first, make me a small loaf from what you have and bring it to me. And then prepare the rest for your son. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. What she did was she fixed the man of God. She fixed Elijah a plate of bread and she bought him some water. That was her tithe. She brought it to God's man. And when you give God your best, when you give him your best service, when you give him your best time, when you give him your best talent, and when you're giving your best treasure, that's the best you can do. 
And he don't look for nothing else but about what he can strengthen you to do. He wants your best. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. So this woman, she gave Elijah what he asked for. There's a breakthrough in her future. He told her, don't worry. The God of Israel, your God of Bethel, Pensacola, your God that's walking with you every day. He told her the bowl will not run out. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your bowl will not run out of flour. Or your jar will run out of oil before the day that I, the Lord, send rain. Now, Elijah had already prophesied it wasn't going to rain in the land for three and a half years. So she had enough food for three and a half years. And then it was going to stop raining again. I said the Lord will. The Lord will. He will. He will provide. The widow did just what Elijah told her to do. And guess what happened? She got a breakthrough. She got a miracle. The oil didn't run out. And the food didn't run out. The widow was blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm like the wood. I'm blessed. And I feel highly favor of the Lord because he bought me thus far. And he bought you thus far. The Lord is. The Lord is. My light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is. My strength. When I'm weak, the Lord is. My shepherd and I shall not want. The Lord is. That surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All, I mean all, all the days of my life, when I'm sick, it's following me. When I'm well, it's following me. He's following me each and every day of my life. I feel God. Do you feel God in your life? Do you feel God? Can you shake your head? Can you wave your hand? Can you feel God? We need to feel him sometime. We need to feel him sometime. You need to feel the touch of God in your life. God, we want more of you. Feel God. You're not by yourself. You're not ever by yourself. He's always, always, always with you. He's more than enough. He's our shelter in the time of a storm. He is, he is my redeemer. I needed redeeming. I was on my way to hell. Sinning without asking for repentance. But I wake up every morning. Lord forgive me. For sin I've done. By thought, word, and deed. See I got sin in my life. And I go ahead and acknowledge it. Yeah I've done it. Because I'm human. I'm fleshly. I ain't, I'm not in heaven yet. I still need some work. Amen. I don't know about y'all. But I need some work. And guess what. He helped me. He blessed me. He strengthened me because I can't get up here and do this without God. This ain't Sandra. This is the Holy Ghost. Anybody got the Holy Ghost in here today? It's called like the fire. The word of God is like fire. Shut up in your bone. And all I can say is, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he make a way out of no way? Won't he do it? He'll close doors that no man can open. Open doors that no man can close. He'll do it for you. All you got to do is stay faithful. Stay faithful. Believe no matter what it looked like. What it seemed like. What it smelled. Believe that all things are possible. Through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah somebody. This woman got blessed. So I'm telling you to stand. Stand. And when you get through standing. Stand some more. Stand. On the word of God. Stand when the doctor say, I can't help you. Stand when the judge say, I can't help you. Stand when your family walk out on you. Stand when your money looking funny. Stand on the word of God. And when you get through standing, stand some more. And then you start looking to the hills. But where your help come from? I help. I say I help. My help, my help, my help, your help, your help. 
It comes. It comes. It comes from the Lord. David said, I've been young. Now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. And all I can tell you, oh, taste. Oh, taste. Brother Mike. Oh, taste. Dr. Nichols. Oh, taste. Oh, taste, church. And see, have you tasted of the goodness of God? In the land of, have you tasted God? I've tasted him. He's sweet, I know. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Stand. If you have to stand all by yourself, mama won't go. Daddy won't go. Sister won't go. Brother won't go. Children won't go. Stand. You won't be standing by yourself. The Lord, the Lord will stand with you and he'll be your guide. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your understanding. Your understanding not good enough. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on it, but trust in him and he will. He will. And he wills in the house. He will. He will. He will. He will. I know he will. I know he can. I know he can do all things but fail. God will. I say God will. He will. He'll provide. He give you food. He give you clothes. He give you grace. He give you mercy. He make your enemies your footstool. Just stay in. Stand. And when you get through standing, keep standing. Stand on the promises. On the promises of God. And all I can say is, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he make a way out of no way? Stand. Stand. Stand on the God word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Do your will in your way. Yes, Lord. Yes. Somebody need a breakthrough. Somebody need a healing. He told me the day is your day. It's your day. It's your day for a miracle. It's your day for your breakthrough. And you just say, I accept it, God. I need you, God. I want you, God. Amen. Let's give him the highest praise. Worthy, 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 worthy is the Lamb of God. God is good. He's awesome. Elijah loved God so much. He didn't even see death. A whirlwind came and got Elijah because he walked with God. I want a whirlwind come get me. If he did it for Elijah, I serve the same God Elijah served. Amen. Ask God for a whirlwind. We, I don't know. He might not ask him. The word of God said, you have not because you asked not. Amen. I love First and Second Kings. I'm going to stay right there. I probably teach it on Senior Tuesday because I'm so in inspired by First and Second Kings. It's challenging because the language is not <laughs> clear, but you got to read it over and over and over to understand. And God is a revelator. He reveals his word to us. The headache gone. If I'd have stayed home, I'd still hold my head. My back ain't gone. If I'd stay home, I'd say, well, you know, it still hurt. But I pressed my way. And guess what happened? Got a blessing. I got a breakthrough. I got a healing. I got a miracle. You got to claim it. You got to claim what God has promised us. Because it's in the word. Amen. Praise his holy name.
And look, look at the music. We, we went on without the music. Glad you're here. Thank you, Jesus. But just in case you didn't come, we were going to praise God. I've learned I can do it with music, without music. I don't need props to serve. I just need God. And God shows up and give us a blessing. Amen. I can't stop praising him. He's been so good to me. So good. So I want to share what God, with the children of, with the children of God. We're supposed to be encouraging one another. Because we're all going through something. I met two ladies that the uh, woman, woman, whatever it was. You know, we become, become encouragers. They're here today. They're going to be singing in the cantata. Because we need each other. We don't need to be pointing no fingers at nobody. Because we could have been sleeping in our graves right now. So, no negatives, positives. We're trying to help each other. The world presses down enough. And the Christian family, you think we should press one another down? We should be picking each other up. That's what the world do. I don't, I don't do what the world do because I read the word. So let's know that God will provide. Amen. Give him another praise in this house. He's provided for us. And I want to extend an invitation to discipleship. And if we have a virtual audience, you're welcome. You can call our office. But we want to extend an invitation. This is a deep invitation to discipleship, to learn more about our Father and our God. And I believe the word is said, if you believe in your heart, it's a heart. It ain't a head thing. It's a heart thing. If you believe in your heart, and confess with your mouth. I thought we had to get on a morning bench and slob and spit until we couldn't do it no more. I know it was this easy. The word of God make life so much easier. He said, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth. You and you and you shall be saved. Hallelujah. Salvation is free. Doors of the church are open. Salvation is free. Can nobody yeah. be like Jesus? Yeah. Be like Jesus. Can nobody. nobody. Doors of the church. Do me like the Lord. Do me like the Lord. Can nobody. Can nobody. Nobody. Do me nobody. Like Jesus. Nobody.
Hallelujah, Lord. Come on, let's give God some praise in this place. Wow. Wow. The word of God has been spoken in this place. I want to thank uh, First Lady, I call her honey, for that wonderful word, for that powerful word, for that anointed word, for the blessed word. Didn't she preach, y'all? Didn't, didn't she preach? God used her to bless us in this place. If you come to hear word this morning, you got it. Now, it's up to you what you do with it. You got it. God is amazing, y'all. Her, her, her subject was God provides. We started out with no music. No musician. Now, where he, the musician come from, I don't know. But I, I just believe God sent him. Okay. God sent him. God provides. He, he, he gives you that, what you need, and sometimes that what you think you need. And so we want to thank our musician this morning. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. God can send the ravens, the birds. He can send a musician. And so we want to thank the brother this morning. I want to thank the choir. Let's give this choir a hand. Didn't they do a marvelous, wonderful job? Yeah, singing without music. Sometimes you don't have what you think you need. You, you just kind of, you know, say, okay. But thank God this morning. We had a good time, y'all, in the Lord. We had a wonderful time. And again, honey, can't thank you enough for that word. Can't thank you enough for letting God use you to preach the word, a powerful word. And you know, in that story, God took care of Elijah. Sent him, sent him to a place. And he told him he's going to feed him. Send him water. But you know what happened? Elijah got complacent. That was not his mission was to stay by the brook. And many times in life we get complacent. And you know what God have to do? He have to dry your brook up. You have to dry your brook up. It ain't a bad thing when your brook dry up. It's just that God have more for you to do and sometimes we as Christians you know what happens to us we get complacent we get complacent at home we get complacent at work we get complacent show enough in the church we get stuck but God sometimes have to dry your brook up to move you on to fulfill the mission he has called you to do so 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 don't get complacent we ain't there yet you all the mission has not been completed yet. God has more for all of us. Not some of us, but for all of us to do. And don't let them headaches and backaches and pains get in the way. Because we have a God who is a healer. Any witnesses in this place? Have a God who's a witness, who's a healer. Yeah, if back pains and headaches don't stop me from going to work, they sure can't stop me from worshiping my God. What a word, y'all. I, I, I feel so good. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit using her to preach the word unto us. I thank God for the choir, for singing without music. I thank God for our ushers, for ushering. I thank God for our, our security ministry. I thank God for each of you for coming this morning. And let me tell you some good news, y'all. It's going to get better. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It's going to get better. It's going to get better for us as a church family. And it's going to get better for you as an individual. Hang on in there. Don't give up. People are talking. And she made a, a statement. The world is pressing us down. Don't press each other down. Don't put your foot on each other. Don't, don't talk about each other. Don't slam each other's name. But encourage one another because we're in this together and let me tell you something God is carrying us somewhere he's carrying us somewhere together thank you so very much thank you honey thank you for that word thank you thank you <clears throat> wonderful word powerful word let us get ready now to give to give to give to give as our ushers come forth to give yeah let's get ready to give come on ushers and, and, and remember who you're giving it to. 
you, you're giving it to God. And it's an act of your faith what it is. Tithe and the offerings. And so this morning, if you give to God, he'll give back to you. Yes. To whom much is given, to whom much is given, much is required. And you probably say, I don't have much to give, Pastor. But you do like the widow's might. You do like she did. She didn't have much to give. But what she did have to give, she gave it all unto the Lord. And I come to tell you this morning that if you give to the Lord, he'll give back to you. But first, he's asking you to give yourselves as a living sacrifice unto him. That's what God wants. He wants you to give yourself. He, he wants you to give your heart. He wants you to give your soul. He wants you to give your mind. He, he, he wants you this morning. So this morning, have you submitted? Have you surrendered yourselves unto the Lord? And what I like about God, God loves us first. But God is in the blessing business, y'all. Yeah, he loves to bless. He loves to give. And in his giving, he gives us the best. He gave us the best that heaven had. He didn't send an angel. But he sent his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. God, he loves to bless. And if you need a blessing this morning, ask him. Ask him. He want to bless you. He want to bless you. Ask. And you shall receive. There's nothing. That God can't do. God. Gives us. Good gifts. So this morning. He want to bless you. can't be God giving the more you give the more he gives to you he gonna stay ahead of you in your giving yes as our ushers come let us stand come of thee. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. 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 We'd like to thank our issues for receiving our offerings and tithe. We'd like to thank you for being so generous in your giving. And we'd like to thank those who are in virtual land for your uh, contributions as well. We thank each of you and we pray God's uh, continuous and mighty blessings upon your life and upon your family. I pray that none of you all go uh, lacking of anything because God, God is a what? Provider. And he has provided and he will continue to provide. And you know, when you read that word of God, as the wife says, it gives you strength. God took a nation of people and led them through a wilderness for 40 years. And the food never ran out. The manna didn't stop coming down until they got to the promised land. He's the same God today. He's a provider, you all. He has provided. He will provide it provide. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of me. And 
So we thank God this morning for who he is. So very grateful and thankful that you have come this morning. And, and, and first again, I, I, I can't thank the wife enough for that, that powerful, wonderful, uh, well-presented word this morning. And I pray that the word has encouraged you because we all, we all need and we all going through something. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm just going to share this with you. It's, life is so amazing. And, and you know, sometimes you have everything that you need. Sometimes you got a little money in your pocket, a little money in the bank, some few stocks, and you got all the clothes you need, and got a, new vehicles, and children doing good, and you're doing pretty well on your job. But there's just sometimes a faint spirit to come over you. Just, just, just as almost as if you just feeling bad about life when you're doing so good. But I come to tell the devil this morning that he's a liar. I don't know about you all, but sometimes that's, that, that faint spirit come over me. And I have to think back of what God is doing for me right now and for what he has done. And God knows he's going to do. Continue. It's not going to stop. So I say to you this morning, encourage yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Don't get discouraged. That's not of God. God don't send those kind of blessings. That's from the enemy to discourage you. But encourage yourself in the Lord. You all right. You're doing good. You're going to make it somehow. Yeah, God's going to provide. God is with me. Encourage yourselves in the Lord. Have a few announcements and we're going to go home. <clears throat> Reverend Johnson, uh, Samuel Johnson, will be back with us next week. He, uh, he's okay. okay. He, he walked out last Sunday, and some of you are probably wondering what happened, but he had an engagement, a preaching engagement. And so he went there at 11 o'clock. But he's doing well. He'll be back next Sunday. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And of course, on Fourth Sunday, I believe we're going to wear pink. Is that correct? Fourth Sunday, Sister Mayo? Oh, okay. Fourth Sunday. Okay. We're going to wear pink. You know, you can wear it every Sunday, but Fourth Sunday, Bethel, as a family, we're asking you to wear pink. Wear some pink, men. Okay. I'm going to find some pink from somewhere. Okay. I have to buy a pink flower. I'm going to have some pink. Okay. But uh, we're going to wear pink on Fourth Sunday. Okay. As a church family, and also uh, in the North X, uh, there's someone out there receiving donations. Sister Mayo, okay, Sister Mayo is out there receiving donations uh, toward breast cancer money. And so, do the best you can. All right, whatever you give, trust me, it's a blessing. And so, we thank you in advance for your giving toward this effort. Also, um, we've asked on a one call for for items for uh, hurricane victims uh, down in South Florida. On Tuesday morning, we're going to uh, have a truck going to South Florida, and we're going to be carrying supplies down there to those uh, victims of Hurricane Ian. And so we ask you to bring some items. If you brought items, we'd really appreciate it. The church has already purchased some items but we ask you to contribute as well as individuals. And so um, if you did not bring them today and you want to bring them, bring them tomorrow, <clears throat> Monday. We'll receive them uh, Monday, uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, we'll load the truck tomorrow evening, uh, starting at 3.30. Tuesday morning, we'll be going to South Florida uh, to carry those items. So I want to thank you, Buffalo. Thank you in advance. You, you understand. You understand hurricanes, okay? You understand what it takes. And whatever you bring, you'll be blessing someone. And so I just want to thank you. Thank you. You can give a monetary gift. Or you can bring some items. Whatever you do, we thank you. And if you don't bring no items, just pray. Just pray. Pray for the people in South Florida. Pray for the truck that will get there safely um, in South Florida. We'll be going to Arcadia, Florida. Pastor's going to be going along with uh, Brother Matthews is going to 
We're going to drive the truck to South Florida. And so there'll be truck coming out of Fort Walton Beach, uh, going to, Fort, um, to uh, Arcadia as well. This is a Pensacola, Panama City District effort. And so it's an effort, okay? So we're just reaching out, trying to touch someone, just reaching, just expressing our love to say, you, you, you can't fulfill all their needs, but you can say that we, we care. We, we, we love you, and, and we're wishing for your recovery. So asking you, Bethelites, to do the best you can. If you give a penny, you give a dollar, you give a dime, we really appreciate it. And I'm going to tell you about pastor. You know, people come out of the store, they throw change on the ground. I'm picking it up, okay? I'll pick up money all the time off the ground. I'll, I pick it up, okay? You'll be surprised the change that I have. Just saving change. How you can bless somebody. Just just with change. Okay? So if you give a penny, we appreciate it. If you give a dollar, you give a dime, whatever you give, we're trying to bless somebody, okay? So I want to thank you in advance, Bethel. Thank you so very much. You you Bethel, you are giving church. We asking breast cancer. We asking Donations for the victim in South Florida. We're asking offerings. We're asking tithe. we just asking. Okay? Yeah, we just asking. You say, my God, Pastor, we give it all to the church. But let me tell you what. God will reply and replenish. I'm a witness, y'all. God will. Okay? God will. So, again, thank you in advance. Now, um... <clears throat> We started our cantata rehearsal on yesterday, and of course, Sister Johnson is going to give us some dates. We're we going to celebrate this Christmas, y'all, okay? We're going to celebrate, okay? We're we going to come out here dressed up like we at Carnegie Hall. We're going to celebrate, okay? We're we going to celebrate, okay? So, so get your red dress ready, Reverend Riley. Get your green dresses ready, uh, Sister Johnson, Dr. Powell. We going to get your black dress ready, Sister Pizant. We going to celebrate. Get your pearls out. Yeah, get, get, your, get your diamonds out. Get your jewels out. We, we going to come out here and celebrate. And after the cantata, we going to go in the fellowship hall, and we going to rub shoulders, okay? Yeah, we going to rub shoulders. We going we gonna to touch some of them pearls that... that uh, Sister Michelle, you wearing on your shoes and all. You know. Some of us don't have no pearls. Some of us don't have no diamonds. But we're going we gonna to rub against you. Make it feel like you feel. We're going to have a cantata. And Sister Johnson is getting the choir ready. We need some men to sing in the choir. Okay? We need some men. We, they here. They here. The men are here. Okay, I'm trying to hold back and not get in the choir, but if I have to, I will. Okay, we need men. All right, we're going to celebrate, y'all. We family here at Bethel, so we're going to celebrate, okay? All right, we're happy this morning. Do we have any guests? Saw a gentleman come in here this morning. He came over here on Tuesday, but he came in and he, he turned around and walked out. He said to, uh, to me he was going to come back today. We welcome him here. He got his information, but he came, and he came with two boys. So we welcome him to come. We welcome you and your family members to come. Do we have any guests this morning? There. Oh, okay. Sister Day, your friend. going to go home. We just want to acknowledge our guests. I'm Rose Irby from Virginia, and I'm so glad to be with you guys, and thank you so much. <laughs> okay. 
and I'm visiting with Miss Day. I'm her sister. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's give her a hand. Yeah. We're so happy to have you to come and to worship with us. Okay. All right. And Sister Ella, I believe it is, honey. Edwards. Sister Edwards and, and her daughter Lisa. You, you're one of us. Yeah. Just raise your hands. You're one of us. So happy to have you come and to worship with us. Thank you so very much. Do we have anyone else? Okay. If not, thank you, Bethel. Thank you, Bethel. This has been a wonderful, wonderful worship experience. I need to make this announcement. Uh, October the 20th, we're going to organize a church in, uh, at 6 o'clock p.m., and we're asking you, if you will, to please uh, attend. Also, if anyone uh, has an interest in becoming a uh, trustee, uh, will you please uh, submit an intent form uh, to the church office? And of course, you need to get the intent form from the office and uh, if you would like to be a trustee, okay? All right, there's a place. <laughs> there's a place, there's a work for each of you in the church. And I like to think of the church as a beehive. The beehive, all the bees are working for the common cause to make honey. And if the bee, bees don't work, they put out of the hive. Okay? We're kingdom builders, you all. We're kingdom builders. People out there are lost. They need to hear us. They need to see us. They need to see us working. And so we ask, if you will, please attend the church organization. Sister Mackaway, will you come and, and, and say this to us? There's a very, it's time to election, voting. It's time to vote. It's time to vote you all. And... There's a very, all the races are important. But this is one that's coming up that, that I want you to hear about, Sister Mackaway, and, and we need your support. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Uh, God is still good in our, in our slowfulness because I am slowful, but I try real hard to do what I need to do. On uh, October the 22nd, we're inviting you, 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 and you to be a part of the um, campaign for Val Demons. She's coming here to Bethel Church. Amen. She wanted to be a part of, uh, she is an AME. Amen. And she's going to a couple of other places. I can't tell you the exact time because it's between 9 and 12, but she and her bus and her campaign people will be here. We're making plans to accept her and receive her because she is an AME. I would also like to tell you that on uh, Tuesday, the 11th, is the last time to register for this election cycle. If you have not registered, please do so because you know what the race is out there. We're getting all the negative ads, anything negative in this area that will put us down and ask us to question ourselves and question the parties, please be mindful of it, but go ahead and register. Register. Also, they're in need of poll workers to work for early voting and the election day. If you have some time that you can give, you no, know, they pay you. If you have some time and you can uh, serve you will be paid for your uh, efforts. If you have any questions, we also have, uh, and I've been sending out ever since I think Thursday, uh, information about the ballot. And if you have not gotten yours, just say, Cassandra, I need to talk to you. And we will make sure that you get it. Have a good day. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, Sister Mike White. Thank you so very much. And of course, you all, uh, Val Demings um, is running against Rubio. And she's AME out of Orlando, and I'm sure you all have heard about her. But uh, anyway, uh, she'll be here on the 22nd, and so she's asking for our support. And for her to come to our church, you know, I think that's, that's remarkable 
because there are so many churches in this community. She can go to any of them. She's coming to our church. And so we want to open our doors to her, and we're asking you to please come and give support. Um, I said the organization meeting will be the 20th, but in the program, it's the 18th. Uh, we had to change the date, but it's the 20th. Organization meeting will be the 20th instead of the 18th. Thank you, ushers, beautiful ushers. Thank you, media ministry. Thank you, choir. Thank you, security. Thank you, Bethelites. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. The highest praise. Praise, praise him. him. Praise him. All the creatures here below. We praising you, God. We are praising our God. Yes. getting ready now for our Bible discovery and as I was studying the lesson I, I was just so impressed and Dr. Power raise your hand somebody here probably don't know you but Dr. Powell is the author of our Bible discovery she, she wrote this lesson and, and it just does my heart good to know the author so many times I've read the lesson never knew the author but for this quarter she, she, she wrote the lesson that we're going to study this morning. I think that is very phenomenal. Let's give her a hand. Let's give her a hand. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Powell. Thank you. All I can say is, won't he do it? Put the author in your church. Thank you, Dr. Powell. Because he will provide. Now, the benediction. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy to God our Savior who alone is wise be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever and the people of God said amen amen tell your neighbor you love them <laughs>